What's happening, man? It's your brother, Illuminate, And this is the first time I'm going to do my vlog thing. You know, I kind of wanted to do this, man, because I'm in a weird, kind of a weird box. I am a rapper and a pastor, a minister, an artist, you know what I'm saying? But I'm always been an entrepreneur and I'm all these different things and I'm a hybrid and everything that I do and I come from you know the gangster rap scene in the west coast and doing stuff with a gang of people like Fabulous and the gang with Snoop and E-40 and Baby Bash and Chingo Bling and all of these different people um, prior to me giving my life to Christ so I was really heavily involved in the music industry which a lot of people don't know but which is cool you do now but now that I, I gave my life to Christ it was, I had this gift that I didn't even want to use anymore because all I really knew was the darkness that came with it. And then all of a sudden, I get prayed over, prophesied over, the Holy Spirit rocks my world. And I get told that I am called to be a Christian rapper and have a worldwide music ministry. Fast forward, almost nine years later, here I am. A lot of that's come true. There's still some stuff that hasn't come to pass yet, but it's definitely what God's called me to do. And uh, it's definitely a dope thing. Um, and I'm still kind of figuring it all out as we go. Um, you know, I went through the phases of being a little too religious, talking about just church and Christianese. And then I went maybe a little too far left and talked about a little bit too much hood stuff. So I guess, you know, I'm, I'm finding that balance of really where God wants me, where I'm able to walk in between both worlds and still be a light in the darkness and still exhort the body, man. So, you know, that's just kind of where I'm at right now. And in that time off, worked on a marriage, but that wasn't all that just happened, man. It was also a dark time, too, man. Um, name of my album is called Winds and Waves because it's dealing with the storms of life. And the storms of life are going to come. It's going to happen regardless. The Bible says the rain falls on the just and the unjust. And uh, we went through a really dark period. We got married April 29th. My brother-in-law was shot April 8th. So my brother-in-law was murdered. My wife was dealing with that tragedy the best that she could, but was bleeding out everywhere. She had a broken heart. And so now we, we find ourselves, rather than having a, honeymoon were now damage control from the gate and for us to be married is just a testimony of God's grace and his faithfulness because even in that time I got three bolts and discs in my back and I had been touring for three years like I said straight basically not taking no time off and the doctor just prescribed me pain pills so unbeknownst to me my body becomes dependent on this stuff and so I went through a really dark period just trying to help my wife through that and then it bringing back up the emotions that I had from my little brother getting murdered three years prior. And then I'm dealing with the injury, not being able to go out and tour and get money the way I knew I knew how I'm a provider. You know what I'm saying? So I went through a, a season of depression. So trust me when I tell you that I know about the good and I know about the bad. I know about the winds and the waves. I know about the light and I know about the dark. So I understand whatever season you're in, trust me. I can relate to you, and you're not the only one. And if you're going through it right now, I'm telling you right now, if you're at the end of your rope, tie a knot and hang on, because God can and will redeem you if you'll give him the opportunity to. Just cry out to him, man. We serve a good God. A year of just figuring a lot of things out, man. Um, even in the, the Old Testament, it was a custom for the man to take a year off and not go to war to work on their marriage and build that foundation. And now that we've done that, praise the Lord, <laughs> man, it is that time again. So I got some new music dropping in just a couple weeks. Um, by the time this is done, it, it might be even closer to that. And it's definitely by far my best stuff. Um, I spent all day today transferring over my catalog to a new distribution company, which is an amazing one. You're going to hear about it as soon as it's announced. Got some major announcements coming, man. God has been Definitely in, in, in my obedience and listening to the Lord about honoring my first ministry, the Lord literally worked everything out behind the scenes, set me up in some major, major, um, man, just some, some really awesome situations, man. Just by me 
hearing it, hearing him and, and making that my focal point, listening to him, and then, you know, um, man, just doing what he told me to do, man. So, obedience is an amazing thing. You should try it sometime. We all go through things. You heard what I've been going through. But, hey, I got a whole lot to share with you, man. Victories, defeats, wins, losses, wisdom, tips, tricks, the whole nine, man. This is just the first of many vlogs. So, right up here, right up here, all up here is going to be where the URL is going to be. You can go to my YouTube channel, man. Subscribe to that thing, man. And stay tuned because we are going to illuminate the world with his light and his love and be on his job 24-7. Peace.